Atlantis? Uh, good evening, sir. Atlantis is uh, here standing by. How are things in Washington? Uh, doing great. Uh, am I speaking to uh, Commander Altman? Yes, sir. This is uh, Scott Altman, the commander. I got my whole crew on the flight deck with you. Well, it's great to talk to you, Commander. Uh, where are you exactly now? Do you have any idea? We do. Uh, we're tracking that. Uh, we are about uh, 200 miles up, approaching the Galapagos Islands over uh, the Pacific. Outstanding. Well, it is wonderful to speak to you today, and I wanted to personally tell you how proud I am of all of you and everything that you've accomplished. You know, like uh, a lot of Americans, I've been watching with amaz amazement the gorgeous images that you've been sending back and uh, the incredible repair mission that you've been making uh, in space. I think you're just uh, providing a wonderful example of the kind of dedication and commitment to exploration that uh, represents America. Uh, and uh, you know the space program generally, and, and these are traits that have always made this country strong, and uh, all of you personify them. Well, thank you very much, sir. I think you are exactly right that uh, this mission's been an example of what our country can do as we work together. It's been the teamwork of all the folks on the ground, in addition to the folks uh, outside spacewalking, uh, making this all come together and work for us. Well, I, I know that you talked about uh, what an incredible journey. Uh, it's been for you, uh, and how uh, it, it provides an example of how uh, humanity can work together, uh, even in the most harsh environments, uh, to get things done. And uh, as I said, it, you know, watching you guys out there in space uh, on some of those spacewalks is, uh, is amazing. Uh, and, and Dr. Grunsfeld, I was, I was moved by your observation that the Hubble's more than just a, a satellite. Uh, but uh, an iconic symbol of, of our quest for knowledge. I thought that captures accurately uh, the work that you guys are doing. Well, thanks very much, Mr. President. You know, I know we all believe that in our hearts. And what you know always strikes me as being so incredible is it's almost impossible to go into any K through 12 classroom these days and not see Hummel images on the wall inspiring kids to do great things and, and maybe some of them to become astronauts someday and, and push our frontiers even, even farther. Well, I know that you've excited my 10-year-old and my 7-year-old, uh, and, and they've got uh, some images like that uh, that they prize whenever, uh, whenever we talk about space. And so uh, by allowing Hubble to continue on its journey, uh, you've really allowed all of us uh, to continue on our journey to, uh, for growth and exploration. Uh, you know, here in Washington, uh, there's a lot of talk about clarifying our our, our focus, our, our vision uh, for where the country needs to go. Uh, and uh, I really think that uh, you know what you guys represent is is an example of what uh, vision means. Uh, you know, the space programs always described uh, our willingness to to stretch beyond current boundaries and and uh, to uh, look at things in new ways, and uh, so in, in that way you inspire us all. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you guys recognize how important your mission is uh, to the world as well as to this country, and that uh, you know we're soon going to have a new admi uh, NASA administrator. Uh, I can't disclose it to you uh, because uh, I've, I've got to have some hoopla uh, on the announcement. Uh, back here on Earth, but uh, I can assure you that uh, it's a high priority of mine uh, to restore uh, that sense of wonder that uh, space uh, can provide and uh, to make sure that we've got a strong uh, sense of, of mission, not just uh, within NASA, but uh, uh, for the country as a whole. Well, we thank you very much, Mr. President, for your interest in NASA and space exploration. We agree with you that uh, this mission, as I hope, captured some of that spirit of exploration, and uh, just so we're sure, the new administrator's not any of us on the flight deck right now, is it? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to give you any hints, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Fair enough, sir. The, uh, and and uh, I, I do have to, uh, just by the way, say, uh, uh, Captain, uh, that uh, you and, uh, and uh, Dr. Grunsfeld as... as Illinoisans, uh, you know, I've got to give you a special shout out. 
Well, thanks very much. Uh, my sister was just asking me today to take a picture of Chicago as we went by, and we were able to see it in the distance and take a picture so we can uh, send that along as well. Outstanding. The, well, I've got to get a copy of that picture. Uh, maybe I, did you guys see my house? Uh, I'm trying to figure out if my, my lawn is getting mowed there. Uh, I haven't been back for a couple of months. We'll have to point Hubble at it to see that, but uh, we also have something that might be of interest. Uh, we have Edwin Hubble's University of Chicago basketball from 1909. Uh, it was a championship season for them. Uh, well, that, that, is, uh, that is quite a, a bit of memorabilia because uh, University of Chicago is not known for uh, its basketball teams. It is known for its uh, science programs, but uh, basketball, we've, uh, we've been a little wanting there. Uh, anyway, I understand you guys are going to be uh, getting back on Friday. Uh, I, I know your, your families uh, can't wait to see you, and I just want to wish you all Godspeed and, and tell you how grateful we are for uh, the extraordinary work that you're doing. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. We're very honored uh, both to speak with you and to be a uh, part of this mission. It's been a, a great honor. We're, uh, we're very proud to be a part of the, the space program and this uh, Hubble mission. All right. Get back home safely. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. We will.